All right, so I've got six inches to reverse crunch, and this is a very common movement. Basically, when you keep the feet six inches off the ground, you hold them, but we're gonna add a reverse crunch to it. And you wanna use a sled or something that's got some weight on it, like a kettlebell. I'd recommend more than 50 pounds, and that'll keep you stabilized. Now, when you go out, you're gonna hold it for six inches, and you may do different variations where you hold for three seconds and then pop up, or maybe you just go in and out, you stabilize it just for a split second, and then you pop back out. And if you got somebody with lower back issues, may just resort to just the reverse crunch, or you can place the foam roller under the high thighs, do that same movement when they kick out, they just tap the back of the knees, the thighs, the legs on that foam roller, and that keeps them in a safe position when they're not going too low, and they hurt their back by trying to get back off of it. So that is six inches with a reverse crunch.